Well, we're going to do some cultivating in the garden today. This is a follow-up video from uh, earlier when I uh, was in the garden doing some hoeing before uh, doing the cultivating. Uh, if you watched my previous video with the cultivator, uh, I had some difficulty uh, getting the cultivator down the row without uh, affecting the plants. And what I came up with is if you see the tines here in the center, um, I took the sweeps off the two center tines that come closest to the plants and put the uh, chisel type uh, cultivator back on. So it's much narrower and uh, doesn't quite kick up as much dirt as the sweeps do. And then what I did is I took this outer uh, tine and moved it in a little bit and then moved this time in a little bit. There's adjustments on top of the cultivator bar here where the bolts are. You can move the tine a couple inches one way or the other. So I've adjusted them. It seems to be working pretty well that way. Um, and it seems it pulls a little better with um, the chisel uh, cultivators on there. Uh, you can feel the difference with the extra set of sweeps. It uh, puts a little more drag. I mean, the tractor still pulls it, but uh, you can feel the tractor working a little bit more. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you what I did to uh, correct the problem I was having. Uh, this seems to be a better configuration, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, record some uh, cultivating here with the tractor, and uh, we'll post that up there too. Okay, here we go.
Okay everyone, so I've gotten a few rows cultivated and uh, this is what the garden's looking like now. So the cultivators seem to be working well, not tearing up the rows or the plants, so uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it's going. And i uh, got a bunch more rows to continue on, so I am going to wrap up this video and say thanks for watching.